Ladies and gentlemen, your host for the 45th Annual CMA Awards, Carrie Underwood and Brad Paisley. Carrie and Brad hosting is perfect. Yeah, this is rockin' Brad Cephas. What? Stop it! What? You cannot sing that song. Who does that? Who interrupts somebody? Why? Give me one good reason why I can't sing that song. Both of them are just so Honestly, funny and it's got know. such a good sense of humor and they gel so well together. At least we know already who's the prettiest nominee. Well, thank you, Carrie, but in all fairness. He's got such a great sense mm -hmm. of humor. Yeah. It's very kind of like dry, dry. And sarcastic. In fact, I love everybody in this room tonight. Mm. Well, almost everybody. Yeah. Something happens to her when she hosts the CMAs and she like becomes this crazy, witty, hilarious, bubbly girl. So Carrie, have you been reading anything interesting lately? Nope. It's classy, the pair of them together, but it's fun and it's funny. Are you ready for an award show? We always sing songs, you know, and that's, that's, that's kind of become our thing. Stop and think get it over. over. <laughs> Let me help you get the picture. Yeah, you can get drunk and start carrying on. But you can't compare the president to Hitler. We have each other's numbers, so we, we text each other like all the time about, I just saw this, we gotta talk about that. I don't sort of wish stupidity upon any of my peers, but should they all do something that makes my job easier standing up there, then God bless them. Well, she caught Tiger with some tail, it's plain to see. Brett Favre's taking up photography. Yeah! I still remember the, the text from Carrie saying, Tim and Faith have Barbies. We have to do something about that. Faith Hill Barbie, OMG! Give a Barbie! Give a Barbie! One of my favorite moments of last year's show was whenever they had the dolls. That's so what they I was were playing say. with them. I just got home from a long tour. Hello, Faith. Hi. You look beautiful. Would you like yes. to make out with me? Yes, you're, yes. Mm -hmm. Kiss, 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 kiss. And they had him kissing. <laughs> kissing and <laughs> other stuff. It was funny. Hey, Brad, do you think that these dolls are? Anatomically correct? Yes. Only one way to find out. Give me Faith. Right. There's nothing there. <laughs> Poor Faith. But it's a lot of fun. It's fun to find that chemistry again every time. And I feel like we, uh, we have figured out our roles also, you know. And ironically, I am the idiot. Carrie, thank you so much for that Tim doll. I just, I can't even tell you what that means to me. It completes my set. It goes perfectly with my Keith and Nicole dolls. Keith and Nicole have dolls too? Yeah, let me show you. Here's, here's Nicole. Oh. Here's Keith. But I do think we're ad-libbing a lot more than we used to. That's some of my favorite part of the show is the on-the-fly stuff. You know, after the, uh, after the night that Blake and Miranda are having, I think we can expect a baby in about nine months. Um, one of my favorite ad libs last year was where Carrie and I were, were with Miss Piggy and she was so reactive. Miss Piggy! What? Remind me! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm gonna sing. Oh, no, 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 no. And I could tell that that puppeteer, or I shouldn't say that actually, that pig was really on it, and anything that happened, she was there. It's you and me, Piggy. Huh? You and me. I accidentally grabbed her boob. We belong together. We're like bacon. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to touch you there. We're, we're like bacon, and, and, and I realized that, and, and on TV came off. You could see it plain as day in my hands. Like, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have touched you there. And it was one of my favorite moments I've ever had. I fondled Miss Piggy. What? I have always wanted to do that. Here are the nominees for Male Vocalist of the Year. I'm just ready to ride this Chevy. Jason Aldean. Chevy down a little back. Hey, I'm a little drunk on you and high on summertime. Luke Bryan. When you think about me, do you think about 17? Eric 
church. Blake Shelton. Urban. For CMA Female Vocalist of the Year, the nominees are Kelly Clarkson. Baby, you don't know a thing about me. Cause you're running with the fastest Miranda Lambert. Ain't your baby. Tina McBride. I'm gonna love you through it. The stakes are high. Taylor Swift. The water's rough, but this love is ours. Carrie Underwood. Hey fans, get your cell phones ready. Now's your chance to own a one-of-a-kind guitar autographed by CMA Award hosts Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood. For a chance to win this guitar, text the word STRINGS to 66937. That's STRINGS to 66937. Standard text messaging and data rates apply. Get full details online at cmaawards.com slash STRINGS. Tim Allen, Reba McIntyre, Lily Tomlin. I'm seeing stars here. This fall, three of the biggest stars shine on the new ABC Comedy Friday. Pretty snazzy, huh? Friday can't come fast enough. That's why we're a great team. Of course, that does mean Tim will be surrounded by even more women. I'm hanging on here by a cheek. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is funny. Last Man Standing and the new Malibu Country, Friday, November 2nd on ABC Comedy Friday. You're welcome. What makes a CMA performance memorable? The answer is as unique as the artists themselves. The song that you're gonna sing really starts off it's kind of the, the imagery for the whole thing, for the stage, for the outfit. You know, I just I always want my performance to really represent the song. If it needs pyro, I love it. Little Big Town wowed the CMA crowd, not only with their harmonies, but with a very special guest, Lionel Richie. It's been a night in LA, just to know the we became like 12 year olds <laughs> when he walked out. Just you and I. You know how you want to show off to family and friends every once in a while you want to? And when he walked out, I was like, oh. Puffed up, I felt. Yeah, yeah. I felt excited and just happy, and uh, we're such fans. When you're standing with somebody that you've looked up to your whole life, and he's standing on a stage that you watch the shows your whole life, yeah. and you go, "What am I doing here? Like, <laughs> how did I get here?" Yeah. It's so cool. Just anticipating on my love, on my love, on my love. Sometimes I think about you, wonder if you're out there somewhere thinking about me. Kelly Pickler made her CMA Awards debut with a performance of I Wonder, a deeply personal song written about her mother. Did you think I didn't need you here to hold my hand, to dry my tears? Did you even miss me through the years at all? That song was written through the eyes of a child. Obviously, we've not had any contact and I haven't seen her in years. Oh, I hear the weather smells in California. And just in case you're wondering about me. 
to get up there and to sing that particular song on that particular stage at that particular moment in my life, it's so overwhelming. I'm in Tennessee. Alan Jackson's CMA performance in the fall of 2001 showed us all just how powerful a simple song can be. Where were you when the world stopped turning that September day? I didn't write it right after 9-11 because I really didn't feel like I wanted to write a song about it. And, and this one just finally came one night in the middle of nowhere. Did you stand there in shock at the sight of that black smoke? Rising against that blue sky. It was a hard Did performance because it was, I'd never sung it before other than the studio. Plus, it was just, uh, uh, you know, just because of the emotions of everybody was still, you know, everywhere because of the 9 11 and uh, everybody was so sensitive. I'm just a singer of simple songs. I'm not a real political man. I watch CNN. I'm not sure I can tell you the difference in Iraq and Iran. But I know Jesus and I talked to God, and I remember this from when I was young. Faith, hope, and love are some good things He gave us, and the greatest is love. Where were you when the world stopped turning? That September day. It was very uh, heartwarming to do it and to see the response from the crowd and to hear later how much it meant to everybody. And, you know, so it made me feel good about it. 